Hello guys, this is Code and Code, and this is the eighth lecture of this DSU series. And in this lecture, after a long time, we are going to continue this series. And in this lecture, we are going to study about union by rank. This is again uh, an optimization technique like path compression. So the difference between path compression and union by rank is that uh, path compression uh, tries to optimize the running time using find function while using find operation while the union by rank tries to optimize the running time uh, in the merge function so what is union by rank first so while we are merging two sets or we are performing union operation uh, the set with the higher number of elements should be the parent till now what we do uh, when we do uh, merge so let me write down what we usually do when we do merge operation so uh, merge int a int b what we do we find parent of a and then we find parent of b and what we do we check if a is equals to b indicating they are already connected with each other i mean they are already connected or they lie in the same set so we simply return because there is nothing to do otherwise what we do parent of a is equals to b that's all here what we do we make a as parent without con uh, considering anything about a and b but what union by rank says while you are performing the merge or union operation then you have to make the parent the one uh, the node or the set which is hi having higher number of nodes in it or higher number of element in it so to do this we would consider the size of each set the size of set of a and size of set of b but for for that we must have to keep one extra information uh, beside this parent for each node we keep its parent but now we also have to keep track of size of each set so that is why or uh, the size of each set is we call it for some reason rank so what it says that suppose uh, these were initially two sets and we we were asked to perform the merge operation between node 1 and 5 now see node 1 is this and 5 is this node 1 belongs to this set node 5 belongs to this set so we have to merge these two there are two ways we can merge this first we can make node 1 as parent or we can make a uh, parent of 4 is equals to 1 so in that case sub the tree would look or uh, the set would look something like this now see the height of this tree is actually 2 right the height of this tree is 1 after performing the union operation what is happening here the size of this tree is now 3 1 2 and 3 the size is increased by 1 but there's another way what you can do you can make a 4 as parent now this is one another way so when you make node one uh, node four as parent so height of t tree is still two you see the height in this case when we made the uh, the set which is having higher number of elements as parent then the height doesn't increase in fact what happens is that this trick is known as much uh, smaller into bigger and this trick is used in dp optimization as well dp on trees uh, I remember there was a problem on February long challenge, I guess. Yeah, February long challenge, Chef Goram 2. Uh, the pro there were, during that contest, only like, let me check. There were not many uh, people who were able to Chef. Just a second. Chef and Gordon Ramsay 2, this problem. There were not many people who are able to solve this problem because it uh, it requires us a special trick to solve this problem as you can see there were only 66 person during that contest in div1 who are able to solve that problem because uh, the problem requires to use or optimize the dp solution and if you do it normally then the overall complexity comes out to be n square while if you use that trick that is merge smaller into bigger what we are doing here is merging smaller into bigger if you do the same trick on tree then the overall complexity comes out to be n log n and when we do the same here on the set what happens is that the height of tree doesn't exceed log n 
so it makes sure whenever we performing we are performing merge operation keeping in mind the trick uh, merge smaller into bigger the height of the tree would not increase uh, would not be more than log n so each if you only consider union by rank then each find operation would run in log n time even if you don't use path compression the find operation runs in log n time if you combine both of the tricks that is union by rank and path compression then the complexity becomes roughly uh, it is almost constant and the running time is actually inverse uh, ackerman function you can read that uh, on wikipedia i i'll be putting the link uh, in the description and which slows uh, which which actually grows very slowly which is roughly constant time operation if you combine both of these two so to perform this uh, union by rank we must keep the size of each each set as well so what we would do now we would have two integer arrays in parent suppose you are having these many uh, nodes or sets and another one called rank so it's represented with capital r so now if you remember from our previous lecture uh, previous lectures of the same series after you read n what you do uh, I'm just showing you it is something like uh, a pseudo code so after you read n what we do we initialize all of the set for that we run a loop from 1 to n right and what we do we initialize either parent of i to be i or parent of i is equals to minus 1 indicating this is the parent of itself right but now we also have to uh, initialize the rank rank of each node would be one because initially each set contains a uh, each set contains a single element because node uh, node one is itself a set node two is itself a set and so on so since the size of each set is initially one that is why we initialize the rank of each element to be one and if you are performing merge operation between two nodes say say five and ten so what we do uh, we find a we find b and then if a is equals to b we return till now everything is fine but if you are going to merge these two now we have to check if rank of a is greater than rank of b now what would happen since rank of a is greater than rank of b hence a would be parent so a would be parent so what would happen since a is going to be parent and now suppose this is a this is b so rank of a that is size of a is of course greater than size of this set right so node 4 is going to be parent so what you would do you do a uh, parent of b would be updated to be a now what would happen this pointer would point to node 4 like this but but now what is happening here initially the size of this set was 4 because there were 4 elements in it but now after uh, this ha uh, these two are merged together so size of this must be updated so what you would do you would update the rank of the current parent current parent is a to be size of b so whatever element were there in b now would be added in the rank of a so this is how you update rank else which which means that rank of b is greater than a so b in that case b would be parent b would become parent if that happens so what would happen parent of a would be updated parent of a is equals to b and rank of b would update rank of b plus equals rank of a so this is union by rank all you have to do is check which which uh, which set is having higher rank whichever set is having higher rank that would be the new parent and accordingly you would add the set size into the another one because these two are being merged so this is how a union by rank works the rest of code the uh, code in find function and in main function remains the same only thing changes is this merge function and the change is not too much to be considered so this was all for this lecture if you have any query and anything or uh, there was something which was not clear to you just post it down in the comments so thank you guys for watching until the next video drops 
keep coding thank you